hello friends welcome back to my channel in this video tutorial i will show you how to fix alien rogue incursion evolved edition game crashing not launching not loading lagging freezing low fps black screen issue on pc so let's go through it so the first method is to check system requirements of the game so for that go to steam now go to the store option here you have to search for the game and after that go below and here you can find the system requirements to play the game on your pc so make sure your pc have all these requirements and after that try to launch the game and see if it helps if not next method is to update graphics card so for that go to the windows search over here then here you need to search for device manager after that go below expand display adapters select your graphics card right click on it click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers so this will search if there is any update available for your drivers and after updating now check if you can play the game nvidia and amd users just go through the link that i have provided in the des description and from there you can easily update your graphics card next solution is to verify integrity of game files so for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on properties now click on install files and here click on verify integrity of game files so after verifying the game files now check if you can launch the game and you can play it further if not next is to run game as administrator for that go to the go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage then click on browse local files this will take you to the game folder where your game has been installed now select the game application right click on it click on properties then click on compatibility then click on run this program as an administrator then hit on apply and ok now try to play the game and see if it helps if not click on disable full screen optimizations then click on apply and ok and then try to play the game if still the problem appears then click on run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 or windows 7 and then select apply and click on ok and after that try to launch the game and see if it helps to fix the problem next method is to modify launch options for that you need to type minus dx11 or minus dx12 or minus d3t11 so go to the library section select your game right click on it click on properties now in the general section here you can see launch option here you need to type dx11 minus dx11 and then try to play the game if it works then fine if not again come back type minus dx12 and then try to launch the game and see if it resolves if not again come back and type minus d3 d11 and then try to play the game and see if it helps to fix the problem next solution is to allow the game through firewall so for that go to the windows search search for windows security after that click on firewall and network protection then click on allow an app through firewall after that click on change settings and from here you need to search for the game if it's listed over here if not click on allow another app then click on browse then go to the game folder where your game has been installed select the game application add it to the list over here after adding it select it make sure both private and public boxes are ticked and then click on ok after this launch the game and see if you can play it next solution is to clear download cache so for that go to steam now click on steam option and click on settings then click on downloads after that go below and here you can see clear download cache you simply need to click on clear cache beside it after clearing the cache now try to launch the game and see if it helps next solution is to install visual c++ files so here uh, i have provided the link in the description just copy and paste it in your browser and after that download and install the visual files and then restart your pc and log into the game to check if you, you can play it so go to the web browser now after the website opens go below and from here you need to download the visual c++ files after downloading it install it after installing reinstart after installing restart your system after restarting log into the game again and then check if you can play it without any further problem next solution is to update windows so for that go to the windows search, search for check for updates now here you have to click on check for updates option if there is any update available it will check and you should update your windows to the latest version after that try to play the game and see if it helps to fix the problem next solution is to install directx so for that i have already provided the link in the description just copy it and paste it in your browser after pasting it install 
download the DirectX on your system after downloading it install it and then try to play the game so after web uh, opening the website here you need to click on download option once the file is downloaded you need to install it after installing af then try to launch the game and see if it works next is to disable in-game overlay so for that steam users go to steam now click on steam option over here then click on settings then go below click on in-game and here enable the steam overlay while in game option if it is enabled you simply need to click on it to disable this after that try to play the game for geforce experience open geforce experience tap on gear icon beside username click on general switch off in game overlay options from here for discord overlay go to user settings game overlay tab from here switch off enable in game overlay option so after this check if you can play the game further if not next solution is is to run game on dedicated graphics card next solution is to run for that go to the windows search search for graphic settings after that here you have to search for the game if it's listed if not click on add desktop app then go to the game folder where it has been installed select your game and add it to the list after adding it click on the arrow icon under gpu preference you need to select high performance after selecting high performance now try to launch the game and see if it helps to fix the problem next solution is to increase virtual memory so for that go to the windows search, search for view advanced system settings now click on settings option over here then click on advanced then click on change now here you to select the drive where your game has been installed after that click on custom here you need to type 12288 and in the maximum size you need to type 24576 so after this click on set and then ok once done try to play the game and see if it helps to fix the problem if not the final solution is to reinstall alien rogue incursion evolve edition game for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage then click on uninstall and finally click on uninstall option so after uninstalling the game restart your system once after restarting your pc launch steam and again reinstall alien rogue incursion evolve edition game and then try to play it and see if it works now so all these are few suggested solutions to fix the game crashing not launching not loading lagging low fps or other issues on pc so that's all for now in this video thank you